All right, so I got a little box here. Um, the problem that you run into on boats is battery power. You have to run an engine. It's just like your car. You have to run an engine to charge the battery. Um, in a car, it's not a big deal most of the time because you're going to run the engine if you're if you're out in the car. Um, however, in a boat, you you don't you have a limited amount of fuel, and fuel stops are sometimes far and in between. So, not having to run the engine is a good thing. Uh, a lot of people use solar panels, wind generators, water generators, a variety of things to keep power on a boat. Now, the Mac, which I'm sitting in right now, is a relatively small boat, and a solar panel on deck is just going to be in the way and get stepped on, and it, it's not a good solution, I don't think. Uh, so, here's what I came up with. These guys make small wind generators. All right, so this is an unboxing. Um, this one, I'm going to set it up at my place and experiment with it and play with it. But I believe that it will produce enough power that I can set it up on a pole on the uh, stern of the boat, the back of the boat, and uh, uh, just, you know, keep the battery topped off. It, it's a 33-watt generator. All right, let me get this thing opened up here. Let's see what comes in the box. All right, we got shipping manual or not a shipping document oh that's what i paid for it yep 33 watt cyclone portable wind generator got a business card Let's see thank you for purchasing made to the highest standards there's some other stuff they make what's in the box let's have a see Let's see here all right there is the main body of the wind generator and if I can get this where I can get hold of it. There we go. And it pivots and spins. The other end of it has a cigarette lighter plug on it, which is, you know, if you were, this actually would be handy because on the steering pedestal of the of the Mac, the McGregor, there is uh, there are a couple of cigarette lighter plugs, so it could just plug in out there. Um, probably I'll do something a little different. Let's see. Watch the the little light in here. Let's see. I see it. So as this spins, it creates power. Now, of course, in order to spin that, you're going to need blades. Okay, so it comes with one blade already put on there. That goes on to the shaft here. And then there are a couple more blades. So let's see, let's see, let's see. I got the three-bladed option. Um, wow, no... Doesn't know, it does not come with any kind of owner's manual or instruction manual, and the videos online are very limited. But it's a pretty simple assembly. You see, you put the blades on and put the screws in from this side. And this, this doesn't work like your typical wind generator. Now, there are, I see, I haven't, if I can find it. Okay, it's, it's hard to see here, but there's a little arrow that indicates what direction to place the blades. Now, this does not work like a regular wind generator, okay? Normally, wind generators have a tail on... If I get it, I can hold on to it here. Have a tail on them to make them face into the wind. This one actually works just the opposite. It faces downwind... Okay, so the blades are facing backwards. The blades be over here. And it works that way. It's a little bit different. Um, 33 watts is not a lot. But I think it's, you know, running uh, for extended periods of time during the daytime. And, in, and especially at night, you know, when the boat's at rest, there's always wind on the water. Most always. I won't say always, but most always. So I think this will produce enough to keep the battery topped off. Um... Of course, the the light fixtures and stuff will be converted to LEDs and, you know, anything that can be done to reduce usage. And uh, periodically, of course, the engine will run, but it has a small alternator on it. And, uh, you know, it doesn't produce uh, a lot of power either. So between the wind generator and that, I believe that my 12-volt uh, electrical needs will be met. We shall see. 
Um, I'll get you guys a, a, an update in the future, show you how I set this up, and then, uh, you know, let you know what uh, what it's doing. It looks like a pretty good unit. I personally think these wires could have been a little heavier, but 33 watts, like I said, is not a lot. And this came from Cutting Edge Power Systems. They're uh, here in Texas. So you guys be safe and watch for updates. Thanks.